but in a multitude of counsel, there's safety. I was a phenomenal young man, but I had father and I had males around to critique me. And so the critiquing was natural to me. So I never got bent out of shape when somebody said something about me, which is why I was able to fight these white boys. Because in this white system, I'm going to tell you if you don't know, they got real thick skin. Have you ever seen them debate one another? Have you ever seen them in politics? Do you know what they call politics? They call it the blood sport. They call politics a blood sport. So many of us black men, right, that haven't had our fathers critique us all our life to make sure we are numb to somebody saying something that might be offensive, to don't move us off of our square, but we've had our mamas that operate in this emotionalism that anybody that says something that might be offensive, there automatically is a reaction. And I'm just trying to tell you where that comes from. See, I'm trying to break it all down to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you as a black man try to be up in this arena where motions is not allowed, and that's all you are, and no one has helped you critique you or let you know that this is a character flaw on the global platform, then you'll never survive the blood sport. I survived the blood sport because no matter what they said about me, I stayed monotone. I never was moved. Because I had a father critiquing me and other men critiquing me where it was numb. Do you understand how that works? So when I'm out there hollering and saying certain things to point out, to put this nigga's work up to the fire, all these Negro peons out there who ain't had no mama, or if they had a daddy, he didn't have the information. They're in an uproar. But men, you can see white boys out there. You can cuss a white boy out right now. He won't say nothing to you. I mean, you can cuss him out, call him a bunch of bitches and everything. He'll act like you ain't saying nothing. Because he's come from a culture of critiquing. Of men that have ran the world. Some of you guys look at them and, and, and you think they weak. White boys have wore us the fuck out. Please believe, understand what I'm saying to you. I'm trying to give you some clarity. White boys in power have submitted the greatest hustlers, pimps, dope boys, and put all of us in jail. Their systems did that. They built systems to do that. So all that tough guy shit and all that shit don't mean shit to me. So what did I do? What did my father told me to do? Slip up underneath the white boys, learn how they think. Learn how they move. Learn their systems. Because one day, son, you will meet them. And when you meet them on that level, you will defeat them. So all during the game, I was making sure that I was devouring the information even before I got into the game when I worked at Neiman Marcus in Beverly Hills and I went out to Beverly Hills on Rodale Drive and began to observe them, master them, listen to them, their movements, their mannerisms, how they talked, what did they say? So when I ultimately got in the game, this, that's what I wore. And that camouflaged me. 